motorcycle get a maximum lean angle. And after you've reached it, you're gonna slip away. In theory, it's quite simple to calculate this lean angle and I'm gonna explain you how. For the differences between theory and real life and all the real life influences, watch the first part of this video first. The link to that is also in the description. But now let's have a deeper look at the physics. Some motorcycles lean angles are limited by physical parts like exhaust systems or foot packs or whatever. But every motorcycles lean angle at some point is limited by physics. And that's a difference there. First of all, I'm gonna explain how to calculate the lean angle in general. We've got a motorcycle in a stable driving situation. When a stable driving situation is given, the centrifugal force and the lateral force have the same amount. I'll explain these two forces in a few moments. You may notice that I've used other labels than in the last video. Both are correct, but the labels from the last video were the ones often used when it comes to the coefficient of friction. In this video, we are talking about the overall driving situation and therefore also use other designations. G is the weight force. It can be calculated by multiplying the mass of the motorcycle with the acceleration due to gravity. Since neither the mass of the motorcycle nor the acceleration due to gravity changes with a change of lean angle, the force G always stays the same with a given motorcycle. No matter which speed, corner radius or lean angle. But now let's get back to the centrifugal force and the lateral force. FC is the force that arises when moving around a given curve with a given mass and velocity. You can feel this force when cornering. It's the outward force which is trying to fling your way from the center of the turn. FC depends on the motorcycle's mass, the velocity and the radius of the turn. Since we've got a stable driving situation, there has to be a force which is holding against the centrifugal force. It needs to have the same amount but points in the opposite direction. It's called the lateral force which is transferred by the tire. Let's come back to the calculation. First, let's define the lean angle. It's the angle between the vertical line, which originates in the middle of the contact patch between the road and the tire, and the line, which goes as well through the contact patch, but also through the center of gravity of the motorcycle. As I told before, the lateral force and the centrifugal force have the same amount in a stable driving situation which is important. Because of this fact, the lean angle can be calculated with either the centrifugal force or the lateral force. Since we've got a formula for the centrifugal force, we'll take that one. Here's the formula for the lean angle. We put in the formulas for the centrifugal force and the force G into the formula for the lean angle, we see that the lean angle depends only on the corner radius and the speed, when we take the acceleration due to gravity as constant. Watch out! Here I'll have to add that this is only true in an idealistic scenario. For finding out more about the lean angle in real life, watch the video that I've added to the description. But now, finally, let's find out how to calculate the maximum lean angle. But I'll have to remind you, before you remind me in the comments, in this video we are not gonna talk about limitations through physical parts of the motorcycle like the exhaust system or foot packs, like it would be the case for most motorcycles, but we are only gonna talk about the physical limitation through the tire. Let's get back to the formula for the lean angle. As I said before, the force G can be calculated by the mass of the motorcycle and the acceleration due to gravity. The lateral force, on the other hand, is limited and can be calculated by the force G and the coefficient of friction. The coefficient of friction depends on many different factors and it's not possible to determine how large it actually is in your specific driving situation. Between a tire and the road, it's usually between 0.7 and 1, at least if it's not raining. And as we see in the formula, the maximum lean angle in an idealistic scenario only depends on the coefficient of friction. 
Of course, in real life, that's not quite true. But in this example, if we take a coefficient of friction of simply one, the maximum lean angle would be 45 degrees. 